Hey friends, hope everyone is doing well. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a different stream today. I I've, I decided, I just decided to myself, I was going to stream some Two Point Hospital because I've been wanting to play it for a really long time. Um, if you're an old, old, old school uh, fan of the channel, you might have seen years ago uh, me and uh, Johnny played um, Theme Hospital for a an episode of Late to the Party. And that was very, very fun. Uh, I think uh, Johnny got a little bit frustrated with me, which is understandable. I got frustrated with the game. But I've heard that Two Point Hospital is a bit of a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital. And so I'm excited to see to see what it's all about. And of course, I was, um, I was just kind of like, it's a bit impromptu because I was just sort of setting up the stream yesterday and I was thinking about um, everything going on with uh, Roe v. Wade at the moment in the US and I was like, I really want to do something. Um, and so I've, I've just sort of felt, well, why not stick a fundraiser onto this? Um, and, um, you know, obviously no pressure at all, but if we manage to raise a little bit of, um, of money for a good cause, then, you know, why the heck not? So today um, we're raising in support of um, the NNAF, uh, which is the National Network of Abortion Funds, um, which is kind of um, a network of sort of grassroots organizations throughout the US that um, aims to help people with uteruses, um, you know, get sorted out with uh, with abortion um, health care however they can. So it's not just, you know, sort of scheduling uh, the treatment. It's also, you know, things like, you know, discreet transportation, aftercare, things like that. Um, because here, we really believe that abortion is health care and it should be treated as such. And I, my heart really goes out to everyone in the US that's affected by these incredibly stupid rulings that are happening right now where a small subsection of uh you know people who weren't voted into power are deciding what everyone else does with their bodies and as a pregnant woman and as an adoptee i i think that's fucking messed up to be honest with you i think everyone should have a right to take ownership and control over their own bodies and that's just that's just how it is. So anyway, that's just my little piece. Set my little piece, and now let's play the game, shall we? Um, we have we've had a few we've had a few donations already. Actually, thank you to anonymous. Thank you to my cat is typing this. Um, thank you to Amanda Bible, uh, Dave Darking. Thank you so much. Um, Phil MC three. Thank you so much as well. Um, anonymous. Thank you Ed two thousand and three uh, as well. Um, a few anonymouses and Daniel, Darren Morris, sorry, John N, uh, Scott L, and Leon Burke. Thank you all so so much. Like as I said, it was kind of a little impromptu thing, so you know, don't please don't feel any pressure. Obviously, only donate if you if you have the resources to do so. If you don't, then doesn't matter. You know, maybe just um, don't know. Uh, maybe raise a little bit of um, awareness about the work that um, that abortion funds does. Um, and yeah, uh, just, just hang out with us today for a little bit. Why not? All right, let's go. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrive. Times good odds. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many oh. of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries. Turbo and head! Hug gently out of your body. Oh my. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes Just in our infection. capable hands. <laughs> We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything oh, will wow. stand in our way. Oh my. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, 
new patience, and a new you. What have I let myself in Can for? Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. What have I let myself in for? I'm quite worried. Oh dear. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank, you be Crank, and I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Gotcha. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay. One bridge access. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, right. Hogsport, begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Ugh, sorry. A bit gassy. Fun fact, not fun at all. I, I, I had a doctor's appointment today as well, so I feel like it's all come... It's a beautiful full circle moment. Uh, are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Why, yes, I am. First things first, you probably want to have a look around. Okay. All right, this feels fine. Yep, there we go. There we go, yeah, look, look at that. I've played video games before. Uh, reception. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. Items. Reception. Okay, let's have a look here. So, all right. Rotate. Z next, there we go. So I feel like, yeah, we wanna have it kind of nice and central, coming straight in the door. Around there, that looks good, yeah. Let's hire one now. All right. <laughs> Yay. Um, uh, welcome to everyone. Uh, <laughs> welcome to everyone joining right now. And uh, thanks to everyone showing your support. Uh, Ellen Atala, hi all, just dropped, stopped by to say, fuck the Supreme Court. I like I, I like that sentiment. Yes, absolutely. JToy64 says, I've had burritos more supreme than this court. Um, and Arge, you're absolutely right. Now the Fang Shui comes into place. I'm going to get real weird about this real fast. Uh, hire an assistant. All right, let's do it. I remember this from last time. Assistants. Lola Silver. Jezebel Strudel. Claire Skyver. I tell you what. Um... Jezebel has, woo, uh, has a lot of credentials, stamina training, three stars, customer service. So it's really about whether we... Claire is motivated to skive, probably. Uh, Lola is cheap, but untrained. How much money do we have? Unhygienic, terribly dull, will help you move at the weekend. Boring, makes people bored. Uh, literary class clown, funny, thinks they aren't photogenic. Oh, Claire, you're, you're so too photogenic. Has potential, can't spell their name. Well. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll go, maybe let's go middle of the road. Let's go Claire and hope that there is no skiving involved. Yeah, all right. Whee! Don't need to go there, Claire. All right, off you go. General pra- okay, we need a GP's office. Gen patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. To build a room and click on the rooms button and pick one from the list. Oh, that's fun. So it's not, it's much easier than it was in Theme Hospital. So. So you kind of, it's like a little, where should we put it? Should we put it at the side here? And then drag out the floor pan. Yeah. No, but, no, but, there we go. Yeah, no, it's outside. No, 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 it's... 
on Two Point Radio. What's happening? Yes, this I want to cancel This is Ricky the Hawthorne, bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just hospital. turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Also, that radio was way too real. Like, would you just, would you just let me drive? No! What is happening? Right, I'm clicking on the room. No. Uh, why won't you, why won't you? Oh, there. I don't know, I guess that'll do. I. Mm. Uh, it's a bit too big. No, guys. Yes, I want to cancel it. Just let me j let me put it in this little alcove. I need help. Patients are reminded not to be sick. No. Smart. Don't be sick. Just don't be sick. What what's the problem? Uh, right here. Look, we're getting somewhere now. So let's have it over here at the window. Little desk. A fire cabinet yay put you over here what else do we need a little bin and Ooh. why are there so many sonic things oh it's sega a little f a little plant that's a huge plant Okay, well the room doesn't clearly doesn't need much in it. Let's put a little fire, a little fire extinguisher there. And uh, good God, why can't I afford these things? Okay, oh, okay, I need to get better. I need to get better. Oh look, look at the carpet. It's not the color scheme I would have chosen, but you know. All right, Robin Knuckles. Ooh, Hannah Puffin, Annika Buskill, Oscar Waters. I feel like you don't want to, you don't want to scrimp on the doctor, do you? Like, hmm. Oh wait, can you pause the game? Here, can you pause the game? Is it, is that a thing we can do? Oh yeah, we can. I'm pausing it because I'm getting worried because that's what got me the first time. All right. Let's see. So what have you all got? What? Oscar's out. Oscar's, I feel, first of all, Oscar, raise those, raise those expectations for yourself a wee bit and your standards. Your doctor, you gotta be, you gotta be paid more than that, buddy. Hannah Puffin has very good skills, good bedside manner. Is a litterer, but I did put a bin in their room. Has something to lose, don't we all? A lightning rod for ironic nicknames is Annika Buzzkill. Charming. Always has a spoon on them, but where do you keep it? Maybe we shouldn't ask that question. Right, let's go. Here now. You better be worth the money or oh, I, I tell you what. Right, look at the size of this place. Okay, we're doing well so far. Here we go. Hospital is open! Okay, well, I mean, they'll, there's only. Reminded to stay away from the light. Chicken butter. Zoom in and I use the mice wheel. Okay, I love that. Yes. Whee! Look around. There we go. Pitch the camera. There you go. Woo! I did it! I did a thing! Right, where's your patients? Here's one right now! Hello! How you doing, Bar Barry Porridge? Barry Porridge! Hiya! You alright, Barry? What you, what you up to? What's wrong with you? Let's have a little wee joke now. Go you in. Feeling? How you feeling, Barry? What's... Hello. Uh -huh. That's the eavesdrop. We really shouldn't be, but... Oh, he's well happy. Look at that. 
Oh, a pharmacy. Why is he? What? What? Is, pharmacy required. Groit. Groit is a frequently transmitted in bathrooms, and modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Ah. Um. Well, no. We'll 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 get we'll get. Uh, don't send them home. Wait there, we second bar. I'll get you a wee. I'll get you a pharmacy now. Build a pharmacy. Here we go. Now, if I could only. I feel like a farm. A good place to put it would be on the way on people's way out. You know. Oh, there we go. That's big enough, right? There you go. What the heck is this? What is it? Oh, it's like a here to dispense all of your needs. Uh, let's put another wee window in there, will we? Nope. What do you mean it doesn't? Oh, very. Which give give me the. All right, sure. A drug mixer. Um, can I put another pl ninety quid plant in here? I feel like it's it's important, you know? Keeping people relaxed and uh, without any worries. This is a very sparse pharmacy. I don't think it needed to be that big. Call me, call me, you know, overly careful, but I feel like a fire extinguisher in every room for $50. Why not, you know? Hundred dollars, sure. Why not? No, done. Right. Okay, there we go. Am I done with this? Yeah. Prestige level two. Why wouldn't a pharmacy have a poster of Sonic the Hedgehog? It just makes it more trustworthy to me. Like to be honest, I'll put another door in as well. Put one here. And wait, what did I just do? What was that? That's not a. That's not a door. That wasn't a door at all. No! How do I delete it? That's not a door! Oh, I can't. I'm not allowed another door. All right, well, there's... <laughs> so whoever runs this pharmacy is just really into Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't see a problem with that. I made a loss on that. All right. Right, bye. Gone you on ahead now. Look, way. Get your drugs over here. Step right up. Oh, wait, what? I have to, well, we need to put a nurse in the pharmacy? Alrighty. Hey, we've made it to 1K, amazing. Hold on, let me, let me read out some, um, let me read out some, oh, I've just realized that there's no sound. Hold on a wee second. Hold on a wee second. Is there sound? Are you guys hearing sound? You can hear the game. Sorry, okay. That's, um... Oh, and also, for any members, uh... <laughs> I could explain better as to why I was confused there, because, uh, my brand new desktop setup, uh, a video of that, uh, went live yesterday. Um, so if you're a magnificent member or above, make sure and check that out. Okay. Anonymous, thank you so much. Uh, donated uh, as well. Neil Druitt, thank you so, so much. Uh, VJ Singh, thank you. Um, another anonymous donation, thank you very much, appreciated. Um, Holly Zabiella, thank you. LaCroix by Marks, uh, Chris Manson, another anonymous, uh, Rebecca Redhead, um, another anonymous, Red Rum, uh, Chris Sturm, uh, and another anonymous. Thank you all so, so much. And we've that's amazing, 1K. I mean, I think it's such an important cause. Uh, music is a bit much, says Claire. <laughs> um, let me see if I can, I can probably, I can probably figure that out in here, can't I? Is that a wee bit better? Not so over, not so overbearing. Let's see. All right. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I think it's a hugely important um, uh, cause to donate to. Um, and any small donation, super, super appreciated. 
Angelina Eggman or Jennifer Scream. Diagnostics, treatment, pharmacy management. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Has potential, inspiring, appreciates wallpaper. I like that, Angelina. There you go. Off you, off you go there. Right. We're doing good. Look. Oh, and another patient. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure a simple illness. Let's see if our new staff are up to the task. Oh my. Barry Parage is getting his... Getting his drugs for grout. <laughs> give us our drugs. Give, 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 give. Oh. Drugs in the form of a smoothie. And you're all better. Look at that. Customer satisfaction guaranteed. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. We just cured our very first patient. Woo! It's so weird. All right. Yeah. Good. Here we go. The funniest thing about Maybe theme hospital. I've been tuned to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard um, before. One of the funniest oh, things was the uh, oh, well, branded we'll Kit Kat machines. Coming right up. All right. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use, and we'll need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered um bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines. While you're at it, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry. All right. Seems seems uh, pretty pretty sensible to me. So we've got Natasha Noble or Robin Rancid. Ooh, there's a lot of alliteration going on in the janitor business. Uh, likes to argue litter motivated. Consistently fails to get a grip. I feel like a janitor who's a litterer. It's a ooh, hello, Maddie Fiddle. Uh, Green Fingers has boycotted bungle pr products for environmental reasons. Tired of buying shorts. <laughs> um, mm, Maddie Fiddle is pretty great. Hmm. Yeah. Off you go there. Right, ooh, look, and we've got, look, we're busy now. People coming in, getting treated. Aussie wetter, he's got grout as well. Important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat. Oh, I tell you what, you can be waiting a while, that's for sure. Benches, benches, benchwiz. Alrighty, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's pause it here before anyone has time to get annoyed at us. A bench. You're a right bench. Okay. Let's put this. Benches for everyone. Take a load off. Is that gonna. Eh, oh, eh, oh, no, not quite. Dang it. It's almost perfect. Okay, well, we'll put one on the other side. Lads, would you move out of the way, please? There we go, there we go. Lovely. And then a non-branded bench <laughs> drinks machine. Burp! Perfect. And cheesy gubbins. Oh man, I, I could go with it for a bag of cheesy gubbins right now. Oh, that's irritating. That's gonna really rub me up the wrong way. Okay. There we go. And uh, a weepin probably. Probably would be handy there as well. It's always nice to have bins. Okay. And why not one of these two? Let's not scrimp on fire safety, everyone. Uh, right, we need, oh look, leaflets. Who wants to learn about diseases? Who doesn't, am I right? And a plant. You plant 
There? What does that green mean? What does that mean? Let's not worry about it right now. Um, a sonic statue. I don't know how I would feel about walking into a hospital and seeing Sonic. Maybe that's just me. Look at how lovely this all looks. So nice. Huh. All right. We're doing well. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. You can hold tab, I think, to take that snap to fit feature off. Okay. I will try that next time. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. I remember this being quite irritating last time. They seem to always be on a break. A staff room will help them relax and return to work energized. Just drinks and snacks will help keep them happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high prestige room will become happier. A nice staff room will also help staff regain energy faster. All right, well, I guess that is something we should consider. What have we got here? Item controls. Well, we know that. That's fine. Hop, 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 hospital reputation. Oh dear. Okay. Very well. What are you doing over? Look at, look at Dawn. How much am I paying you? Excuse me. Excuse me, Maddie. I'm not paying you to stand there giving the thumbs up to literally nothing. Don't, don't make me keep an eye on you. Right, staff room. Well, let's start over here. Put a wee staff room. Oh, should we put it next to the... Let's put it back here. Because I feel like the wards in that will be pretty important. Staff room. Is that big enough? That's big enough. Hi. That's good there. Put a wee door in there. Comfy couch. Uh, yeah, and then comfy couch. How many couches are we talking here, guys? We only have three employees. Uh, lockers, yeah. There we go, yeah. Uh, drinks and snacks, drinks and snacks. Uh, there we go. Shouldn't be buying their own snacks, but that's a start, I guess. Plant. Every room must have a plant. Hopping Ruby, welcome to lovely supporters. Pew, pew, pew. Nice to have you with us. Um... And then I suppose, a I think windows looking into the building are weird, but sure. Uh, bin by the door. Put all your trash in there, guys. Put that there. Do we want a sonic rug? <laughs> Is that weird? What do you mean I can't afford a television for my staff yet? Energy drink, luxury snacks. When can I get these things? When? Okay, well, fine. That's good for now. Oh, that's hideous. Oh, it's awful. Oh. Look at that one. See if, see if I see you hot fitting into that room. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to keep them become fully refreshed before their break ends. Uh, to make them take a break, or in a workroom to make them work there. Okay. Reminded not to be stressed. It's that easy, guys. It is that easy. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no- I have put a bin. If I see anyone dropping stuff on the floor, who? Um... Uh, while we're at it, staff and patients will get pretty grumpy if they don't have access to any toilets. You might want to invest in some quality porcelain. Janitors will help maintain all of these. Restocking vending machines, sweeping up litter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. Well, let's get ourselves some... some wee... some wee... Uh, toilets then. Rooms. Toilets. Uh... 
uh, I guess I'll block her this side right here. <laughs> what is this? What is a very, it's a very comprehensive looking cubicle. No, we've got we need to put, we need to put so much more in here. Uh oh, we might have done this wrong, you know. You know, no wait, I'm I'm starting this. Yeah, no, I'll start. Let's hold on, hold on. Let me think about this, guys. Let me think about this. I think I might, I might be making these rooms way too big. Okay, okay, it's fine, I've got it. I've got this, all right. Yeah, put the door. Put the door over here, why not? Okay, and then, and then, if I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put the sinks along this wall here. So the one there. Could you just, could you, uh. Okay, three sinks along that wall. Ah, God damn it. Hand dryer? There we go. Okay, that's something. Hand dryer there too. And a bin! And our favorite fire extinguisher right there. Now for the. Now for the. Piece de resistance. Toilet. Toilet. Ooh, prestige level three, you say? Don't know if that's enough cubicles, but you know, it'll do for now, eh? We'll just build another one if it's not. Right? Ooh, look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Can we put it? Let's put a wee. Where's my plant? There we go. Beautiful. Is the green just like, oh look, that's nice. Is that what it is? I feel like it might be. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's see what everyone thinks. Look at that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's... Here, just because you're the GP, you need to be tidying up after yourself. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if a GP isn't certain. Oh, okay. General diagnosis. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Well, if they're st I'm thinking about the flow. So if they have to go to the GP's office first, it makes sense that it's there. And then, what, we put the uh, general diagnosis maybe here? Is that the same size? Should I make it bigger? Sure, let's have a look. Ooh. Easy scan. And put that next to it. Filing cabinet, because it's important. And you know it. And a bin. Those bins are huge. Okay. Lovely. That's all we need there? Oh, it's hideous, hideous, hideous. Um, let's put some more benches out here. Bench there. Bench there. Capitalism, right? 
but ooh, we are we're bleeding money at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be worth it eventually. Should I put maybe a wee window? No, we should put a wee window on the thing. Nope, no choice. Just keep going. All right. There we go. Everyone's so happy. As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. The larger hospital attracts more patients. Queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP's offices and other, and other rooms, hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Look out for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to... Well, I don't think anyone's queuing. Nobody's waiting around. Expanding the hospital with more rooms and staff. I need to get myself some more money first. Okay. All right. Get hospital to level three. What are we right now? Where's our hospital level? Where's it at? Staff patients and illnesses. Okay. We've got grout and that's about it now. Okay. Overview. What are these? What is it? How's my staff happiness? Are they good? Patient happiness. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Health. Yeah. I think we're doing well. I think we're- oh god. Okay. We're uh... We're not making a ton of money right now, but we're, you know, we're only getting- doctor? Why can't average height answers to doctor? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Ooh, hello. What are you? Our doctors have discovered a new illness! Clamp! Once this grips a patient, it doesn't let go. Afflicts many living statues and selfie-taking chumps. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Oh no. Don't get the clamp. Um, look at that. Just wandering around in the empty space. Well, I don't want to build any rooms until I know what I should have one for. Oh, WTF Chuck says, quick tip, toilets and staff rooms are best centrally located. Well, I will know that for next time. What are you thinking about? What are you doing? Oh, you're on a break. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let me just uh, have a look at some more of our uh, wonderful donations right now because we're on 2.6. That jumped up. Thank you all so, so much. Um, Jay Cash Cashmere, uh, thank you so, so much. Um, thank you to Anonymous. Thank you to Cheerful Spider. Thank you to Benedict on Games, uh, Stephen Orr, um, for Pete's sake, and George McKay. Um, and uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so much. And I think that, wow, that's amazing. Thank you all so much. That, that really, that really jumped up. Like that was, that was very, very fast. Um, ooh, word on that. news today. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse hospital. every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from My sinkholes tennis. and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. So At least that'll keep the queues down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Build two GP's offices, hire two doctors, hire two nurses, unlock deluxe clinic, get hospital level. Oh my goodness, what ha- Okay. <sighs> well, I guess I'll put another- I guess I'll put another GP office over here. I'm gonna make it smaller this time. A filing cabinet. Yeah. Make a window there. Okay. Done. Perfect. Now we gotta hire a doctor to go in there. It's getting expensive. Marvin Crusts. Makes accidental eye contact with strangers. Lillian Vibes. Just vibes. Could know more. Also a litterer. And Birdie Manners. 
Dirty habits, green fingers, a competent player of spin. I mean, you have to go with the vibes. We just have to. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's done. Now we need to hire another nurse who I guess is just gonna wander around. Or do we put them in this room? Oh, pardon me. Do we put them in here? Jennifer Mop, Jill Face, and Perry Biscotti. Yeah. In you go. You go in there. I don't know if that's what you where you belong, but just give it a try. Alright. Whee! <laughs> just just staring into the void. Okay. If you smell something suspicious, what is this then? What's this then? Oh, the hero. Wait, a, wait a wee minute. Wait a wee minute. Uh, you've got a cue foreman, my friend. Oh dear. Move faster. Move faster. Move faster, or I'll fire you. Come on. Go, 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 go. People are getting annoyed. Come on. You should have made sure you recovered. Yeah, I didn't have... I didn't think about that beforehand, but that's... You should have considered it. Okay, there we go. That's good. Oh. Oh no, I faced the desk the wrong way. Oh, that's gonna really annoy me. We're showing we're showing our vulnerable back to the patients. Maybe we want it that way. You know? Let's put a wee bench in here. There we go. Benches! 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 Leaflets, leaflets. Plants need water. Do they I? Why do you, why would I hire a janitor if not to if not so that I don't have to think about that. Oh, we're so close to level four though. We're so close to level four. What's, what's going on here? What's going on here, Angelina? Why are you just staring at each other? Oi. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Bad face. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. The what? sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> Let's. I, no, oh, misery mistake. guts. Anyway, Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic green. semicolon. Bed face, a quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. Oh, who wrote this? It's very good. Very good. All right, let's build a ward. Let's build a ward. Um, it's award winning. Uh, how big do wards need to be, do you think? Probably quite big, eh? Yeah. What do you mean it's not joining it to a corridor? Okay. And let's put this the right way around this time. Yeah. Screen. Uh. I. I don't know why that's there. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's expensive. prestige level three because all because of the lockers um no we don't need that 
<sighs> a Ben. Yes, indeed. And everyone's favorite. No! What just happened? What just- why, why did they- They sold all my nice beds! What- why did they do that? <laughs> this ward now seems a little bit wasteful, if I'm honest. This is... Listen, the last time I was in a ward it was this- You did not have this kind of real estate. But hey, what do I know? Wards! A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to a ward to deal with more than one patient at a time. Two, if you're lucky. Uh, yes. Deluxe clinic. Lads, I just feel like two beds. Oh, they were too close together. Okay. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognize the achievement of every hospital in the county. Uh, if we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organization. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, it will also allow us to establish new hospitals. Okay. Good job, everyone. I mean, it was mostly me, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, Coda Blair says, you can also edit the rooms after you make them. I need to figure out how to do that. Um, how do I edit? Where's the, there it is, look. Ooh, ooh, you can move the whole thing. Well, maybe I'll just place the beds a little bit more spaced out, I guess. I feel like that's loads of room, to be honest with you. But, sure. What do I know? Subtract from room. Um, grand, that's fine. Um, 2.7k raised already, that's amazing. Um, if, <laughs> don't you dare start calling me for two beds, uh, Silver Salamanis. Um, if you're just joining us, uh, we are raising for an amazing cause today. Um, in light of um, the overturning of Roe v. Wade in America, which we're really saddened by. I was I, w I was going to say shocked, but not really, because the Supreme Court is a mess. Um, we are uh, raising funds for um, the National Network of Abortion Funds, um, which is a really important charity that um, is kind of... Uh, it's a network of sort of grassroots um, abortion... Uh, charities within the US. Um, it seeks to safely, discreetly, um, you know, help people, uh, you know, get abortions who need them um, and also helps them, you know, with all of the kind of logistical stuff that goes along with that, stuff that you wouldn't even think about, you know, like getting safely to and from a clinic um, without having people be awful at you, uh, that kind of thing. Abortion is healthcare, everyone, and um, that is why we're, you know, we're supporting um, everyone uh, in America who has a uterus and who might need an abortion for literally any reason, because it's none of our fucking business why someone would need an abortion. Um, uh, you know, from from. You can, I, I know a lot of arguments are made online with, oh, because mitigating circumstances, this, that, and the other, and it's like, yes, those are important, but also you're allowed autonomy over your own body for literally any reason, you know? Just, just deciding that you want one is reason enough. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like this is an important charity um, and that uh, it's really wonderful um, to see such support for it. Uh, 2.8k. That is amazing. Thank you all so, so much. Um, alright. Let's see. Uh, there. That looks a bit better. That's way, th honestly, that's way too much room for all those beds, but hey, now each bed has a locker. That's nice. Um, there we go. What's this here? <laughs> it's getting quite busy. What? What's wrong with you? What's up? Noelle? 
Have you had a bright idea? Ten patients in total. I feel like we've had a lot more people than that, and but okay. Off you go. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there, Dr. Hannah Puffin? Uh, we are a one-star hospital. I think we're better than that, but okay. Kudosh. By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Ooh. I want new items. I want new items. Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. We can barely afford anything. Fancy new benches. That's it. What's this? Deluxe clinic. Lightheadedness. Oh, that was what the lightheadedness was. Wait a second. I'll build the deluxe clinic for you. Where are we? Rooms. I guess I'll put it. Yeah, put it over here. Loving this music. Oh my. Oof. What are we gonna... We're gonna bake them in a pie? That was an ominous, ominous clang. I guess you go here. Uh, these rooms are far too big. Uh, yes. Sure. Sure. Why not? Space really is a just. Ooh, aircon unit, small aircon unit, big Ben. What? That is neat. You're telling me that's not a, that's not a big Ben that we already have. Drinking fountain, sweet dis. Ooh, a yucca cupboard. Ooh, this is all very exciting. I want the. Uh <gasps> Some might say that there are more important things to buy here. I, I disagree. Look at that. Now everyone knows this hospital is very important. Perfect. Wait a minute. We just need to... We need to come in and admire this a little bit. See? Don knows what's up. Deluxe clinic calling doctor. Ugh. Why? No! Oh, we need a doctor. Okay, alright, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. I want to hire one. Where's my... Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong tab. Never mind. Jennifer Mop, Hugo Gherkin. Whoa, Hugo's got a lot of credentials. Pharmacy management, motivation, emotional intelligence. That's nurses, wait. Birdie Manners, Bruce Gutterflake, and more. What do you got, Bruce? Inspiring, charming, positive. Once rented an eel. You had me at eel, to be honest. There we go. All right. We're G to G. Look at this. Perfect. Wow. Yep. It's good that you're you're on this. You've got a while to go. What's it doing? What's it doing? What's it doing? Deluxe Alux. Boop. Yay, another happy customer. Well done, Noel Sweat. Unfortunate name. Okay. All right. Nice credentials, if you know you know. Okay. What happened? That wasn't a happy, that wasn't happy music. What was that? Also, we are, we are leaking money out the wazoo. He's having a wee chill. That's nice. Alright. 
Uh, ooh. Oh, we're turning a profit. It's tiny profit, but it's happening. Oh, what's wrong with you? Bert? Bert, you're not dying. <gasps> Did Bert just have the audacity to die in my hospital? I'm sorry, what? That's right, Bert. No haunt in this hospital. Are you alright, buddy? We mads. Just just sucks up a ghost and then gets on we business. Just watering the plants. Alright. Patient death. Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails or if they are waiting too long and their health deteriorates. Hospital's reputation will start. That's not fair. Two point back. Patient it dies, sometimes a part right, of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly. This can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging to onto life, but not only that. Ghosts are messy bitches, leaving a trail of ectoplasm. Ugh. They also have a habit of dematerializing and pop- Who should we call? A janitor with a ghost to capture qualification. That's amazing. Did not know that was a thing, but luckily we Mads was there to deal with. Right. Well, I don't know... How much did that, like... Where's our reputation? It's fine. Level four? That's pretty good. Did you know? Well, I... Yeah. I mean, there's nobody bloody in there, so I assume we have enough toilets. Right. Look at this. Everything's going super well. Oh. Stephanie Turbo having a wee chill. Oh, I see. Oh, that's what it's doing. They're having... Right. Got it. Winston draws. Fliss Murdoch's away. Winston's getting in the wee... I wonder should I get another wee changing cub cubicle then? Now that I know what they actually are. Hold on. Where are we? Ward. No, I want the... Items. Oh, I just keep... Okay. No. Where... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um... Mm, maybe not. Doesn't seem like there's tons of room. A lot of lightheadedness going around. Bog... Uh... Bogwarts. Filthy toilets. Uh can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Hope it cures you of turfdom as well. All right, let's see. Um, what are we up to? I don't really know what, what, am I, what am I meant to be doing? Am I meant to be just building more stuff? Guys, should I just... Someone's feeling better. Need to cure more lightheadedness. Um, okay, Fliss Factory. Let's see. They do have a lot of ground to cover. Like, they're going really far <laughs> just to get anything done. But it was big to begin with. I'm trying to fill the space. Okay. 2.9k! Ah! Amazing! Um, let's see. What shall... What shall I build? At least the, G the GP's office seems like... You can't just come in here and do that while they're doing that! Maddie, come on now, I know you're a Ghostbuster and all, but have a wee bit of decorum. I went to a holistics nature commune last week to see what they could do about my gravy allergy. They recommended a long stay at their spa and a bottle of rosemary extract. It cost me a month's wages, but I'm finally starting to feel the effects. Still can't eat gravy though. Oh no, no gravy. Um, having a wee joke. Angelina's just, just doing, doing their thing. 
Uh, alright, well, we're making more money. Making more money. That's good. Uh, let's see. What should I do? What should I do? I could put a, a room down the middle here, but I don't know what I should... I don't know what I need right now. Hmm. Hmm. I really want more. Maybe I can... See, I need more kudos, because... We might have too many doctors. Several are currently idle. Well, you told me to hire them. We need more patients. Why? Where is everybody? Come to my hospital, everyone. Get sick. Come on. Get in here. We'll cure. We can cure exactly three things. Grout, lightheadedness, and that other thing. No, we can cure way more than that. Look. Wow. Wow. Expensive. Usins. Come on. Oh, what the f fucking... You. What are you up to? Claire! Claire, I know you're not skiving. Claire, there's... You I I'm so I'm gl I'm happy that you're happy but at the same time I want to break five days what <sighs> I'm about to lose it Charlie Leotard needs some kind of... Needs needs someone to take them on. Right, you better be getting back. I swear to God. Pick up the pace, Claire. Come on. That's a lie. You're not service and reception at all. Oh. Okay. All right. Where are we up to? Have I missed any any more donations? Let's have a look. We made it to 3k! Ah! Thank you, Anonymous! Wow! Ah. That's incredible. Oh, JToy64 says, Speaking of trans rights, did anyone watch the first episode of Baymax on Disney Plus? There's talk of tampons and pads that includes a trans mask person. Representation matters. I, I've seen that clip. I haven't seen the show, but I've seen the clip on uh, doing the rounds on Twitter this morning, and it is so adorable. It's so wholesome, and it's really, really lovely to see Disney actually normalizing several things um, in, in that clip. Um, what's happening? Sorry, I really should have paused it there. But yeah, it was so nice to see. Um, uh, yep, periods being talked about um, and normalized, uh, seeing... Um, you know, trans mask representation, and just, it was just really sweet. It was a really sweet, wholesome little clip. Um, if you haven't seen it, yeah, it's um, it's the squishy guy from Big Hero 6, and uh, it's lovely. Um, I've gotta hire more people, are you kidding? They're all, they're all just wandering about. Um, oh, I might, I might have to hire another assistant, but then where's, where's the other one gonna be? Do I, do I get another desk? Should I, should I put another desk in? I guess I could. I guess I could. Robert Nosh. Um. Ozzy Woodstone. Go on then, Ozzy. Litter has, they're all letters. Has an elegant bag. Oh, nice. There you go. Off you go. Right, there's two E's. Now I no excuse. Right to it. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Okay, there's no nurse in there. Should I get myself... Get myself another wee nurse as well? While we're at it. Mm. Oh, 
Oh. Yay! One star out of a possible three. I retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. Jesus. Oh, we've got... Oh. Okay. So what should we do? Should we stay here for a bit? Should we move on to Hellfire and Banoffee? Jennifer Corget. I love these names. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get Jennifer in. Uh, throw her there. What um? What should we? What should we do? Should we move on to another map? Stay at this map for a little bit longer. Try and improve it a bit more. I'm Megan up for Park suggestions. Sent in a very thorough quote for today's nice words of the day. Don's gross. Look, did you just leave? Did you, you just leave rubbish on the floor? And blessed that to live is to love, <sighs> and that all bad things happen for a reason, while good ones come to <gasps> those who wait. That's a oh lot my. of nice words, Megan. Awards for me? I just wasn't expecting it at all. Lillian Vibes! Yes! Doctor of the Year. And then... Angelina Eggman! Ooh, they get prizes. And then... Bonuses for everyone. Who's Bungle Meditech? Why have they got our award? Who the fuck is Bungle Meditech? When they're at home. Bullshit. Who is the Orb Foundation? Oh, we had a death. This isn't gonna be us. Fuck you, Jumbo Megacore. We were pretty prestigious. Fix! Fix, fix, fix! This is absolutely rigged. Rigged! Absolutely rigged. End of year approaching. Oh, is it staff party time? Well done, well done Lillian, and well done An Angelina. They, well deserved. What's this then? Oh, that's... Okay. Oh, we got some money. We're, we're doing alright for for cash. Cure 25 patients, earn 200,000. Hospital to level 6. Okay, new hospital means more fun clinic options, says Heidi, Le Heidi Leaney. Um... Okay. New hospitals mean new diseases and new rooms to build. You can come back to previous hospitals later, says Daniel Delgado. Okay. Well, I'm just, I just feel robbed. Rise so, and shine, everyone. let's move on to a new and place. If you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down the oh. Frog Bend's ring. Oh, yeah, because... In a total Stonehenge. coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. Hooray for the druids! Oh wow, yeah. Oh, so you can come back later. That's good to know. All right, lower bullocks. Let's do it. Okay, expand the organization by building a second hospital. A lovely little village with a big problem. A significant portion proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people with, with, in a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Okay, so they've already kind of started to build this one. Got it. Let's see if I can hire someone with a psychiatry degree then. Diagnostics. Hey, Jill Flavor. Come on down. It's your time to shine, Jill. Hygienic, motivated, and once pulled a 73. Get in there, girl. Okay. Perfect. 
So now, ooh, they've done a lovely little number on this here. So now we gotta build out from there. Uh, okay. What should we build? We gotta do everything. So, what's this here? Oh no, it's online. I don't care about that. Um, let's do, well, we gotta do a GP office. I'm gonna make rooms much smaller this time, you know. Like that. No, that's apparently it's too small. Let me. Why won't you let me make you bigger? Okay, fine. Yes, I want to cancel this stupid. Okay, so there is a minimum this can be, and it's that. Got it. Mm hmm. We're gonna. Got it. Do, 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 do. Sure, why not? Prestige level two. Ooh, um, what else can we get? Ooh, coffee maker is very, ooh, bookcase. Trophy case. Oh, this is all, this is all so tempting. There's so much, oh my gosh. <laughs> Food pyramid. Okay, no, we're coming back. I can't I can't possibly choose all that right now. That's a good little office. Look at that. Much better. Okay. And then... What's that there? A little farm next door. And then... What do we need? Sorry, I'm just... Just enjoying the music. Enjoying the vibes. Um... Pharmacy. Let's put one over here. Sorry, you find yourself in a pharmacy, my friend. I have to move out of the way. Big old machine about to drop on your head. And what else do we need? I guess not much in here. Obviously this. Perfect. Yes! Beautiful. That's all that really needs, huh? A nurse! Gosh, darn it. Camilla Crumble. Sounds delicious. Lillian Bird. Magnus Tootsweet! <laughs> uh. Oh, he's nasty, though. No, we don't want someone who's nasty. Passion for domestic woodwork. I see you, Lillian. I see you. All right. In you go. Whee! Maybe I should put a little... They put a lot of mirrors in the, in the rooms. Can I... No, 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 but like, can I put a mirror in it now? Yeah, or a window, sorry. Keep saying more. Dang it. Are we, are you, what do you mean invalid? Why? Why? Why must you thwart everything? I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe I don't care to understand. Let me, let me, tip, let me, okay, now can I if do it? If you're feeling weighed down and clogged up there with bad go. things, why not rinse yourself out okay. by drinking swill? 
I love swell. Plant matter will go straight through you. Okay. Taking with it the okay, we've figured this out now. Life and much, much more. <laughs> Thanks, Will. <laughs> Make uh. solicited an incessant excretion. That's this amazing. Two -point radio. There we go. There we go. Rooms have much more light. Natural light, all that stuff. Oh, that one's been Freddie Mercury. Um, our doctors have diagnosed a patient with mock star, but it requires a psychiatric... A, it requires a psychiatry for treatment. You should consider building one. Okay. Rooms. I thought we had one. I thought this is what this was. Oh, that's a GP. Oh. I done messed up, guys. Well, that's fine, though, right? Because there'll be another... There'll be other GP offices door there very important got the got the armchair <laughs> <So dumb. laughs> there hmm obviously we need a dog poster for those feel-good vibes that in there as well and bonus feng shui We did it! Do you ever feel like someone's watching? Do you ever feel like a paper bag? Um, a plastic bag? Whichever it is, drifting in the wind. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. Boo! They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to go into it. They want to send us psychiatry patients, and in exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Isn't that good of them? Until our organization requires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Get hospital to level three. Done. Look at that. Look at that. 3.2. That's amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who's donated. Let me have a another e joke at uh, the donations. Um, thank you, Anonymous. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, thank you, Anonymous. Um, I th think I saw someone asking before as well, by the way. Uh, YouTube, do not take a cut of the um, of the donations. So these are all going straight to uh, the charity, um, which is a nice way of doing, if it, doing uh, this. I like um, YouTube's fundraising um, uh, tools. Uh, I like the, you know, the fact that you can have it all built in to... Uh, to the experience while watching. The only downside to that is that um, most of the charities that are on YouTube, I think we've probably mentioned this before, um, they're all US-based charities, which obviously in this instance uh, for this uh, cause isn't isn't a problem, but um, in, when we're trying to do other fundraisers, it can be. Mm. <gasps> My voice is on its way out. This bodes well. Anyway. Um, wow, thank you, Anonymous. Um, thank you, another Anonymous. Very generous Anonymous donation. Thank you so much. Um, another two anonym Anonymous E's, Anonymous I? Anonymous is, is, is. Um, wow, that's so, so lovely. And Donatron, yay, thank you so much. Um, like I said before, absolutely no, you know, no pressure at all to donate. If you if you have um, a little bit uh, a little bit lying around, then it is absolutely appreciated. It's going to be a very very good cause. Um, but if not, no worries. Just it's just lovely for you to be here with us. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, just doing a wee stompy stomp, stompy stomp. <laughs> That's not a stompy stomp. That's a strutty strut. Okay, what else do we need to build, do you reckon? Oh, we need a staff room, don't we? Let's put the staff room behind here. Because as someone said before, it's good to have them central. Ready to spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm unironically enjoying this music. Sorry. It's happening. Obviously. Well, we can buy a television. Yeah, let's do it. Wait a minute. Let's think about this. I'm an intelligent person most of the time. Lovely. How is our staff happiness? Uh, oops. Okay, what else do we need? What other rooms are we after here? Hmm. New technology. Bungle Technologies has given us access to some of their latest technology, a pharmacy drug mixer upgrade and a general diagnosis easy scan machine upgrade. If we buy these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients. To upgrade a machine, we'll need a janitor with a mechanics qualification. Select the machine and choose the upgrade option. Uh, uh, the, the option. It's good of them to let us buy their fucking upgrades, isn't it? Do we have any janitors? We do. Okay. Who's our current janitor? Do they have any? What have you got? You can bust ghosts. Oh, you can upgrade machines. Fair play to you, Polly. Grand. Okay. So, can we? Sure, why not? Now we do need a deluxe thingy, don't we? We also need some toilets. Okay. Toilets? No toilets. Yes. Toilets must go. Maybe down here. Oof. Oh, it's cozy in here. you bigger please tell me I want to make the room bigger please let oh don't worry I got it I got it everyone it's fine I got it uh, yeah and then huzzah What did I do? No! <laughs> oh dear, that was an accident. That was a big accident! No! Yeah, you can go there, it's fine. Right. What do you mean it's not ready yet? What do you mean? No!
Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put this... There. Hey! Perfect. Good, good. And then... 3.3k! Wow! Yes! Okay. And then... Are we good? We're good over there. So what else did we need? What other room do we need? The deluxe clinic. Can we put this over here? Yeah. This doesn't need much space, I feel. It's just a big old, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. I got a, a, a wee bit ahead of myself there. Grand. This doesn't need anything else, right? No. Maybe just a wee fire extinguisher because there's a lot of machinery in here. Just in case. Just in case. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, maybe some windows. It does look a bit dark. Eh. Let me click on the room. Here we go. No. There we go. Beautiful. I thought I could upgrade this. Never mind. What's this here? Okay. We need to earn ourselves more money. So let's let that clock roll on. Oh, thank you, Buckaroo Banzai. Amazing. Let's see. What's everyone doing over here? Thank you to Anonymous. Thank you to Ian M. Uh, Sterminator. E Exterminator. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, Johnny Caustic, thank you so much as well. Um, amazing. 3.3, <gasps> you were so, like, that is amazing. That's way more than I was expecting. Um, if, um, Zoe and I are going to be streaming tomorrow, so maybe we'll add this to our fundraiser then as well. Um, just because, you know, it's a, it's an important cause. It would be great to, uh, to, yeah, to maybe raise a little bit more, more money. Uh, for it. Let's see what's happening here. New illness. Diarrhea. <laughs> a variable diarrhea. Sorry. Uh, oh, I know a few people who could stand to be uh, to be treated for that. Myself included. Oh, we're doing a wee. Head it. Head it harder. Uh, and what else do we need? A ward, I suppose. Let's put a wee ward in here. Yeah. yeah. It's really, you get so caught up in like just the smallest little decisions. You're like, oh, but should I put it there? Or should I put it somewhere else? Um. Yeah. 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 Lovely. Oh wait, is that... Are they going to be able to get into that? Let's say yes. One, two, three. And... Of course everyone's favorite. Looking after us all. Actually, yeah. Lovely. Oh, I need a nurse in here though, don't I? Let's hire a wee nurse. Magnus Toot Sweet. Karen Codswallop. Get you in there now, Karen. Nurses aren't paid enough, so you... Yep. Send... Pay your respects first. Have a wee joke in the locker. Yeah, that's right. 
Maybe I should get another reception over here as well. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a reception over here. And I'm gonna get these ones down there. I've started exploring past lives. I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches. But I find listening to my own voice works pendulums. best. I say one thing and then another thing. And I say one thing and then another thing. It's Great, the machine upgrade is complete. Make sure we've got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep our precious ma machine safe. Bungle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry pa patients and have given us access to one of their machines, the Extractapan. This high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. <laughs> Where is it lodged? Continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology. Interesting. I'll get right on that. Pan's lab. Yeah, let's... Do we have... We do have an extinguisher in that room, don't we? No! Oh, we do. Put them on there, why not? Right. You can take out loans. Sounds dangerous. Sounds fake. Okay, we need another assistant. Spending a lot of money to make money here. There you go. Off you go there. Patients should enjoy their visit. Where? It may be their last. Oh, fucking typical. Tim rancid. Bloody typical. Oh, they're going over here. <laughs> okay, it's not where I thought it's not lodged where I thought it was. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? David Panther. What are you doing? Oh, you've just got a beanie on. Okay. Instantly suspicious. What are you doing? Whoa. I don't think we need a plot of land just yet. Own two buildings. Cure three pa- okay. Cure three patients in Pan's lab. How big does Pan's lab need to be? Too big. Oh wait, yes. Hmm. What if I? What if I stuck it on the end here? How bloody big does this need to be? Ooh, don't know about this. Okay. Whoa. Uh, sure. Okay. Why can't I? I want. I would like more than one door for this place. If I'm honest with you. But, uh, ow, apparently I can't have one. So, Looks fine. Like the healthcare branch of the holistics company, known to some as hemp, is in trouble again. Apparently, Elixir, your latest product... May I have more than one door, please? Ills, ...is in fact nothing but pine-scented no. prune juice. Very well. Well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. Okay... Oh, that's a key. That's quite a key. But we've got another G. Oh. Gosh darn it. Back to work! Jill! Jill, you've got a key of people! Who should I. <sighs> Alright. Okay. 50 grand. Oh my god. We can't even afford these. That's teeny tiny, but we could afford it. Ooh, but this one would be... Oh, I'm gonna save up for that because look, that would be so nice. Just, just, like... What's this? I'd love to have a really big plush staff room to relax in on my break. How about it, boss? What's wrong with the one you have? 
What's wrong? What's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? What's the matter? Doctor needed in psychiatry. I'm. I'm confused, uh, doctor. What's your, what's your problem with this here now? How can we make it better? I can get them a bean bag. Get them a big bin. That'd be nice, eh? You love big bins. A yucca. It's okay. This is all very expensive now. A notice board. I don't know what these things will actually achieve by buying them, but uh, how about a clock? Hey, that'd be nice. You can tell what time it is. Know when it, when your break's over. That kind of thing. Ooh, see now the luxury snacks machine and the energy like those things. I can see them being into. Yeah, fine. Let's just get them a bloody bean bag. Here you go. You know how you always wanted to sit somewhere that wasn't really good for your posture? You are welcome, staff. There, look at that. So nice. New illness? What? What are they complaining for? Beanbag chair. Someone died. <gasps> Maintenance announcement. It's your corpse. Will become full. <gasps> Where's J get here? Come on, get to it. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. There we go. Two point radio. I went to the strip buffet recently. I was impressed by how Ooh. experimental the acts were, till I realized it was facing the wrong way and just looking at the tent wall. <laughs> Living in Portishead. Okay, we so we've discovered a lot of new uh, illnesses there. Okay, so our current staff level, staff room is level three. We can totally do that, that's fine. I could make this corridor smaller, maybe. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If you hover over the item in the description, uh, if you hover over the item, the description will pop up and it'll tell you what the item is good for. Doctor required in Pan's lab. Yeah. Oh, we need a, okay. Just one second. We are running out of money. Well, Chloe can't afford you, so Walter Sweat. Get in here. Ooh, we need some money. We need some money stat. Oh gosh, it's... <laughs> Wee! Oh, and they're done. Okay. Whoa! Are they okay? Oh yeah, they're good. Nice. All right. What is this? What's wrong with it? Is anyone manning it? Is this room just not being... Do we need to put someone in here? Is it a nurse? This room seems to be idle. Get alone? Never! I'm not falling for that. You'll never, you'll never catch me. I'm not spending money that I don't have. Not a chance. All right, well, seems to be a doctor that I need in here, so. Psychiatry, diagnostics. Sam Colossus. Is he going there? Yeah. Sweet. What's wrong? <laughs> you can switch off in active rooms. Oh, okay. Thank you. My cat is typing this. Nice. All right. I guess there was a doctor in here. They've gone for a break now. Maybe? Need more benches, don't I? Ah, this gets so stressful so fast. Here, lad. There you go. We see. There you go. There you go. You're welcome. 
Okay, we all have our differences, don't we? Benches, benches, benches. Night owls. Look at that. Noon bandits. Tons, tons of places to sit. What more could you possibly want? But gubbins. Apart from you know, health just one. or whatever. Cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. What are the plants doing? What are they doing though? There we go. Ooh, it's busy. It's getting busy in here. Drink for bench. Drink for bench. Oh gosh. Well, there's a lot of benches now, so good luck. Yay. Uh, Coda Blair says, you can also turn off rooms nobody uses since having them on uses money. Interesting. I think everyone's- I think they're all being used right now. Apart from the toilets, I haven't seen anyone go in there. 3.4k! Yes! Amazing! Tobin, Tobin, going to deliver my first child in three weeks! So obviously I'm binging Two Point Hospital since that'll be great for my anxiety. Wow. Yeah, that's very exciting. Uh, I will be probably not far behind you in that. That's very exciting. Congrats, Toby. I hope it all goes very, very well. Also, yes, but this is perfect to watch. This will definitely lower your anxiety about it. Um, okay. So where... Our reputation is good. Yeah, we're level five. It's all going well. Nobody in the ward. No one's really, um... Yeah, it seems pretty chill. All right. Where's my, where's my, there it is, okay. Mice just went really sensitive there for a second. No, drink for bench. I'm assuming that's, that's uh, from when Jane played this, maybe. Uh, okay, ah, ah, would you, why is the mice gone really, really sens, really sensitive all of a sudden? Stop. Fucking hell, okay. In there. Everyone drink for bench. Yes, I know we can construct new hospital buildings, but I'm not ready yet. Give me time. Okay. My therapist says I need to relax more. Find a hobby. If you have any suggestions, please send them in. I'll keep you posted on how my search goes. So Anything's better than my last hobby. What can, I, traffic cones. what can I do to improve this staff room? Aircon? I don't think I can afford it. I don't... Oh my gosh, stop, mice. Um, Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. I think I spent all my kudos on the beanbag chair. I can't get the aircon, no! Decreases the temperature. Mm. Uh, ooh, hand sanitizer. Reduces boredom. Making it larger and adding more interesting items to it. Well, I can make it larger. That shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I've made that corridor very... Can people get through there? I don't know that they can. Never mind. Yes. Uh, all right. Oh, we've got stuff. What's this? Sally Fig Blanket's latest county roundup just went live. She doesn't say much about the hospital except that it exists. It's good for people to know that, I suppose. We all need to improve the hospital if we want people to add anything positive when mentioning us. Barbershop Quartet. Yes. Send them here. We're ready. Where are they? Okay. Don't know where they went. Grand. Where are they? We can cure them. We've got the we've got the resources. 3.5k. Thank you, Levi Coffee. Uh, let's see what other. Uh... Oh, here comes one. Uh, thank you to um, 
everyone who donated anonymous uh and buckery banzai more more anonymous is 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 oh gosh lads lads it's all kicking off out here oh dear oh we need more benches the <laughs> ah! i don't know about you but i find the relentless stream of deaths excuse me totally do that what are you what are you implying let's put some good put, put a drinks machine and a snacks machine in here there we go and a the 45th bench of today will win tickets to the rock festival taking place next month i admire a station manager's optimism Okay, are we getting through these ones? Nope, so one of them's all the way over here. What are they doing here? Wrong number. Oh, it's all getting a bit... It's all getting a bit, uh, stressful. Heidelini says, Just use the Jane-approved method of plastering the walls with gold star awards to up prestige. That's a good idea. Can I buy those? Where's the prestige? I think I bought the dog thing instead of buying the gold star awards oops oh man well we'll get that the next time we'll save up hey we're getting through them right cured one yes getting through them woohoo what else can I upgrade is it this one I can upgrade Oh, it needs repairing. Get in there and repair it, please. Okay. The kudosh seems like it takes a long time to. That's not a. That's not a thing you can buy, is it? Like it's. It seems like it takes a long time to rack it up. Um. Uh, Dreadwolf he says might need a second psych room and dock if there isn't one because there's a lot of cases now. That is true. That is very true. Where can I sneak a psych room in, though? I'm a little bit short on space. Hmm. How, how big would a psych room need to be, really? Can I move these guys around? I can totally pick these up, right? Let's just move. Let's just move these. There we go. And pick you up. So if I move these. go move you oh that's jutting out that's gonna really annoy me let's just maybe hold on yeah no we can't have that we can't have that okay hmm there no if I were a psych room I need to move those two. <laughs> okay. level two okay done yes get get out of there you two this room has been annexed oh my gosh what have I done to this mouse <laughs> they just literally get turfed out okay oh yeah and we need a doctor from there now 
Announcements. Announcement. Bits will become full. Why, why don't you have any psychiatry training? Anyone? Hmm. It's gonna have to wait. That's a room that's not doing anything right now. Oh, Vaughn's just gonna go in and chill anyway. Okay. All right. Now then. <sighs> um, oh, thank you, Nightcat, for putting a link in the chat to uh, abortionfunds.org um, because that is the charity that we are raising a little bit of money for today. Um, super, super important. 3.5K is amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who donated. Um, I might uh, keep that going tomorrow when uh, Zoe and I stream because I actually think that's... We've actually run way past our usual time today. Um, so I might have to leave it there for now. I'm really enjoying this though. I would be well up for playing more if um, people are interested. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for everyone who donated. Uh, again, uh, abortion funds or the National Network of Abortion Funds is um, an important charity that does work uh, for a string of grassroot, grassroots um, uh, abortion clinics and charities across the US. Um, and of course we're uh, we're donating in support of um, everything that's going on in the moment, you know, it, it, I shouldn't say in support of, but in spite of the overturning of Roe v. Wade in the US right now. Um, abortion is healthcare and people need access to that vital healthcare, not just because it saves lives, but also because it, people just deserve the right to choose what happens to their own bodies. Um, so thank you all so much. My voice is absolutely shattered now, so I'm going to go and drink some squash and chill out. Um, and yes, thank you so, so much to everyone who joined us. That was a lovely chill stream, and I would love to do more, play this game some more. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you mods as well for keeping us all safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Zoe and I are streaming some Far Cry 5 because it's on Game Pass. Um, it should be interesting. And yeah, we'll keep this uh, this fundraiser going, because why not? I'll see you all then. Bye!